Justin, congratulations. Obviously, the, the BMF belt, avenging a loss, another highlight reel finish. I mean, what did this performance mean for you tonight? Life's crazy, man. Um, you know, I thank God every day for this ride. And uh, it means everything. Yeah, to feel uh, to work that hard for something and find success is is a special feeling. It's awesome. Uh, you knew there would be some adversity going in, right? He stung you a little bit in the opening round. Were, were, were there any surprises or anything different this time around that you weren't expecting? I was surprised by myself, you know, how good I fought. It was amazing. <laughs> but that's a nice thing to be surprised about. <laughs> Nothing that he did in there that bothered you, that the left hand that he landed, that uh, caused yeah. you any trouble? Obviously, that's what I thought about every day for the last 12 weeks is the left hand. That thing's dangerous. Um, so, you know, um, yeah, I really didn't want to get hit by it. But today my coach said, don't worry about it. That's not what we're worried about. We're worried about fighting a fight, fighting your fight. And I went in there and I did that. I did that. I love it. You said, as you mentioned, you were throwing the high kick early on, right? I mean, when you're throwing it out there, were you like, oh, this is this is going to be the shot that ultimately catches him? No, no way. Um, it's it's a second at a time in there. So, you know, um, I didn't even really understand that that was working in the first round. I just was trying not to get hit by that left hand pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this obviously, as you said, was great for legacy, but... I mean, it would seem very much the winner of, of Islam and Charles will be next for you. I mean, is there anything else in the division, any other matchup, anything that makes sense other than you versus the winner of that fight? We'll see, man. I'm, um, the UFC is, is, is the guys. They make the calls. So we'll see what happens. I have no idea. Would you go out there to be there or be in, I mean, be around the fight? Would you want to be a backup so that you're involved? I mean, is that anything that appeals to you? I'd want to go watch it. Yeah. I don't think I'd want to be a backup. Fair enough. Unless they pay me a shit ton of money, then maybe. <laughs> then maybe, yeah. That, that works. Uh, all right, well, it seems like it should be next. I guess last thing for me, do you feel like at some point, obviously the title would be next, but somewhere down the road, this is a trilogy that needs to be settled between you two? You know, um, in the cage after the fight, I said, hey, man, if we uh, let's both agree to never fight each other again. <laughs> uh, and I said, unless, unless you have to have it, then, then, you know, I'm here. But we're one and one, so we'll see. You know, um, I would never deny him that opportunity. Just like he did not deny me that opportunity, but you know, I don't want it to be my next fight. Justin, over here. Um, Dustin was in here earlier, and he said that the the high kick he wasn't really <clears throat> expecting that because you don't throw it often. So was that part of the game plan, or did you just throw it once and then just kept throwing it again? Uh, I, I wouldn't. I, <sighs> the game plan has has nothing to do with offense. It's all about defense and controlling angles, controlling distance. Um, so the strikes that I landed were, you know. I'm, uh, I trust in my intuition so much, and I rely on that, and that's that's how I fight. Uh, last one for me. I'm sure you've been asked about it, and you saw the tweets. Connor said, fuck Chandler. If you want it, ask for it. He's the real BMF. Do you have a response to him? I think he's turned me down six times. So, And usually you have to lose to fight him, so I don't know what's going on. Justin, right here. <laughs> you hit the backflip tonight. How good did that feel? Let's be in a minute. It feels good. Um, yeah, life's crazy, man. This is, this is such a cool, cool, cool life. Couldn't imagine I'd be here as a child. You know, I thank God every day for this. And, uh, 12 bonuses and 12 fights again. Um, really it's 12 bonuses and 10 fights. I didn't bonus in two fights. I double bonus in two fights. So I like 12 out of 10 better, but it is 12 and 12 out of 12, you know, kind of. Um, we, we asked you before the fight, you know, about <clears throat> who Islam or Charles, um, now that it's over and it seems like there's a much more clear path. Do you have any different feelings about who you'd like to fight? I prefer Charles because he beat me. Um, I'm a competitor. I love, you know, this chance at redemption was, was amazing. It drove me to, to work harder, be ready, you know, more and, but they're the best in the world. So, and I want to fight the best in the world. Um, after the last fight, I couldn't see Charles winning. But, you know, I can hope. And just to circle back to the Connor thing, um, you know, it's always kind of been floating out there, but to have him, you know, speaking your name and like putting it out there, is it almost like a gratifying feeling a little bit that now he seems to be the one who's chasing you? I don't know. I don't know. You know, I don't really care. I don't really care. Why do you feel that way? Because I don't care. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Um, whatever. This, uh, I fight I fight MMA. Um, you know, I like to fight big fights. I like exciting things. So it sounds pretty exciting to me. Um, you know, I'm not going to fight someone on steroids. 
I've never taken steroids in my life, never will. Well, maybe when I retire, I might. But I've never taken steroids, and I don't want to fight someone that is cheating. So, and I probably shouldn't even say that if I want to fight, but it's the truth. Thank you. Justin, congrats on the win, first of all. How do you feel that this win is not only your win, but also a win for the Hispanic community, that side of your mom, the Mexican side? How does yeah. that feel? Or how do you feel about that? Yeah, the cra this is, um, you know, outside of soccer, and soccer doesn't necessarily have the United States. I think this is the most worldwide sport. The, the farther away from these borders I go, the more popular I am. And that is absolutely amazing. Um, and the, for the people that do know that my mom is of Mexican heritage, um, you know, I have so much family down there and I'm sure they're shooting fireworks, doing whatever they got to do. I mean, I just inspired the world. That's what I'm here for. And, and that's what I prayed for every day is to, the chance to inspire the world. And I think, um, that we all face a constant battle of believing in ourselves. And I wish I believed in myself as much as my coaches and my family, but you know, again, this, this feels great. Hey Justin, um, I don't know if you saw Tony Ferguson's fight, but uh, I just wanted your thoughts on 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 that one. Love that dude. Um, you know, fighting is dangerous, unforgiving, and you know, hell, he didn't take an ass open. He dropped him in the first round. Same thing he did against Chandler. <sighs> I think it's good and bad because I think, you know, I think he. <sighs> We we all we always have a chance. If you step in there, you have a chance. And you know, I'm not his family. I'm not close to him, so it's not my call. I have no idea. Thanks, Sam. Well, like I said, it's a pretty belt. It's gonna look great in my house. Um, I mean, it's special. You know. Um, whether this was on the line tonight or not, I did something special tonight. Um, I'm a little bit petty, so I loved Jorge Masvidal wrapping it around me. <laughs> I was going to ask you about that. He put it over your shoulder. Did you want it around your waist or did you want it over your shoulder? I didn't care. I didn't care. <laughs> Would it's, you? Uh, it's, everything's happening so fast. You don't even know what's going on. Would you defend that belt if you could get pay-per-view points if the title shot isn't next? I got pay-per-view points this time. Um, who knows? We'll see. I have a team around me. Um, I say yes to everything, so I don't trust in myself to make those choices. Oh, Justin in the middle. Um, what did you think of Utah, Salt Lake City? How was your time here? Um, did you feel the elevation? How did training go? Just... What do you like or not like about this place? I, I live in Denver, so we're a thousand feet higher. Um, that that allowed me to have more confidence in my cardio. But man, when these guys let me fight at this pace, I can fight all night like that. Um, felt great. I love this city. It's so clean. People are nice. Um, it's beautiful. I love to play golf here. A lot of a lot of beautiful golf courses. Justin, actually, one more right here. Did you see the video of Kamaro's reaction to your knockout? No, not yet. I can't wait. My dad cried, though. That made me proud. <laughs> is that the first he says no, but is that the first time I made him cry? He probably cried when I was born. <laughs> <laughs> so it's been a minute. For a couple decades. Any other questions? All right. Thank you, guys. Yes. Hey, Justin, we worked so hard. I think you have to see me and... Colorado I mean, it doesn't matter where you're from. It's who you are. It's uh, it's how hard you work. Uh, the town that I grew up in had half the amount of people that were in the stadium tonight. So, you know, you could be anything you want. You just have to work your ass off and believe in yourself. Thank you.